how to make faceless videos. Now, I don't mean if you don't have a face. If you don't have a face, you won't be able to do any of this. So you might as well just click off now. Hey, if you want to make videos and you don't want to show your face, this is the video you want to watch. I'm going to show you 10 ways to make videos without having to show your face. A lot of people would love to make videos, but they've got maybe a fear of the camera or for one reason or another, they just don't want to show their face. And they may think, well, since I don't want to be on camera, there's no way I can make videos. And that's just not the case because in this video, I'm going to give you 10 ways you can do it and you don't have to be on camera. Hey, I'm JR Fisher and I've been selling online since 2009. I've sold both physical and digital products and on this channel I show you the tricks and tips that I've learned along the way so that I can help you out. I've even authored a couple books and I have several courses on how to make money online. I want to take this opportunity to remind you, you need to subscribe. Hit that little button below there and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on notifications too so that I can let you know every time I've got a new video. Now I've got a special surprise for you. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you access to a $97 course absolutely free. So you're going to want to stick to the very end. Now, have you been struggling to make videos online, but you don't want to get on camera? I want to hear maybe some reasons why you don't want to be on camera. Stick them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, let's jump right in. Now, the simplest and easiest way to make videos without being on camera is to just record your screen. You can record your screen and get your message across and there's a lot of softwares to do it with but I really prefer Camtasia. Camtasia is awesome. I use Camtasia for adding music and adding sound effects and putting clips together and pictures and it's just an awesome piece of software. I highly recommend it. Now there are some free uh, editing softwares you can get maybe with Microsoft, you could get Movie Maker, or if you have an Apple operating system, you can get iMovie. And both of those are pretty good, but the problem you run into is they're limited as far as the number of tracks. Now, what do I mean by tracks? A track is, let's say, music. That's a track. Um, your voice recording is another track. Uh, a picture is another track. And then if you put images on screens, that's another track. And all of these start to stack up. And with some of the free softwares, they only allow you a handful of them and you really can't do that much editing. Now, if that's all you have to start out with, go ahead and start with it. But I do recommend Camtasia on down the line. Now, the second way you can make videos online without putting your face on the screen is through product reviews. Now, how could you use this in your business? Well, let's say you have a plumbing business and you want to show them the type of products you're using you want to maybe do reviews on pipes or you want to do reviews on different types of faucets and the type of things you install that's an excellent way to do a video and all you're going to have to do is really show the product and maybe your hands holding the product and pointing to things a lot of people love these product reviews matter of fact they search for them on a daily basis another couple ideas for that product review thing is you know let's say you have a hair salon and you want to show different people's hairstyles you could film in the salon and show the different haircuts that you did if you have a restaurant you could film some of the dishes you have that can be very appetizing people love to watch food videos i know i watch them all the time now number three is slideshows slideshows are awesome now on a weekly basis i do a coaching call and i use slideshows i'm not on the screen i go from slide to slide and i can actually make the words come in when i want by using animations. You can do the same exact thing by making your videos. Now, personally, I use PowerPoint, and PowerPoint's great, but there's a lot of free ones out there you can use. You can use Google Slides. Google Slides is really awesome because once you made your presentation, it'll be there online so you can access it from anywhere. So that's a really good alternative to doing slide presentations. The next thing you can do is use static images. Now, a lot of people who have podcast or radio shows or whatever that are broadcasting online don't want to actually be on the camera maybe they're doing it from their house but you can put an image with your logo on it what the subjects about and just have that on the screen and then talk over that for your video the next thing you can do is use stock images you will want to check the usage rights because some images you can use and some you can't when you go to Google you can actually search for images that you can use without rights so you don't have to give any credit to anybody or anything like that okay I'm here at Google right now and I'm gonna search some images 
so I can show you how to find images that don't have a problem with copyright. So you want to be really cautious about this. So let's pick something. I will put in blue car. Let's see what I get. And there's several steps to this. Now, once you've searched in Google, you're going to have all these tabs across the top here. This is images, videos, shopping, news, more settings, tools. So we want to go to the one right here that says images. And I got that one. And then we come up with all these images and you go, yay, I got all these images. I can use any of these. You cannot. And uh, if you do use the wrong ones, you can run into all kinds of problems. Who suing you, want money from you. So you want to prevent that. Across the top here where you have all these things, there's last tab here says tools. Click on that. That one there is going to drop down this other one here, which is actually pretty useful too. You can, you can sort by size, small, medium, large. You can sort by colors. Uh, but the one you're worried about is right here. It says usage rights. Now, by default, Google is going to give you all the images. So it's not filtered at all by any license. The next tab here is labeled for reuse with modification. And that means you're going to have to change it. The next one is labeled for reuse. So that's, that's more open. You can do whatever you want with it. It's an image that you can take and put on your site or whatever. Uh, the next one is labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification. So you couldn't use this for a business. And you would also have to modify it. And then the last choice here is labeled for non-commercial reuse. So that would just be your personal use. So I would always go with this labeled for reuse. I'm going to click that. What that does is change all the images here. So you just sort through, find the image you like. What do we find here? Uh, there's so many cool blue cars. I want to go with this like kind of comic book one. And one other thing you can do, I want to add in here too. If you don't want to have a background, type in here PNG. And it doesn't clear out all of them, but it does clear out a lot of them. So that like if I had a car like this, let me click on it. And see all the little checkerboard right there? You see that? So that if I put this on my site here, there's no background to it. So that's pretty darn helpful. Uh, this one's the same way, even though it's got the shadow and everything, there's no background. And then what you would want to do is you would want to right click on it and you would just click save image as and then call it whatever you want. And then you've got your images. Now you can use these images and splice them together to tell your story in video form. As a matter of fact, there's a channel that is built around stock images like that on YouTube called all time tens it's a cool channel and there's millions of subscribers that go there every single day and watch their videos you can also use stock videos now there's several sites you can get them from but i like to use video blocks at video blocks there's thousands and thousands of clips of videos that you can put together to tell your story and you could just voice over it or you could use words on the screen along with music the next type of video you can do is called point of view video. Now point of view is, I guess the best way to explain it is somebody who uses like maybe a GoPro where they're actually doing something and you can see what they're doing. Maybe they're wearing the camera on their head or their helmet or their bike and they take you through the journey of what's going on. Point of view videos work awesome and you don't have to be on screen to do it. Okay, so here I am at video blocks and we'll take a look at this one here. Now this is, somebody who's riding their bicycle, but you know, you could do this making a cake, uh, doing recipes, you know, fixing and repairing stuff, whatever it is. These point of view things are pretty cool. You still don't have to be on camera. The next type of video you can do is doodle videos. That's right, doodle. Now you've seen these before where somebody's actually hand drawing out a story and they're telling the story as they draw it out. This is done with a simple software. You can Google it, just Google doodle videos and you'll find places you can get software really inexpensive where you can do these drawing type videos. They entertain people, they love to watch them and it's something you can do. Once again, you don't have to be on the screen. The next type of video you can do without being on screen are how to videos. Now a how to video is actually showing you doing something. This could be anything from cooking where it shows you cutting up the ingredients and cooking everything to making crafts. Maybe you want to set up a table in your living room and you want to put a light over it and you want to make crafts and just show your hands doing the crafts. Now what you can do for this is actually just run the camera, take a video of you doing all these different tasks and then later on voice over that video and show people the instruction of how to do that. I've seen people do it with cameras and they're showing all the different settings on the cameras and they're videotaping themselves 
setting all those little settings on the cameras those are very helpful to people and they search them every single day the next type of video you can do big fancy word here kinetic typography videos now what is that actually it's actually you just talking and the words coming up on screen as you talk something like this and as the words come up it's entertaining enough to keep the people occupied and watching your video now there's probably a ton more ways to make videos out there without getting on screen but I just wanted to prove to you you don't have to be on screen it's not necessary some people never go on screen and they have huge channel these are just some of the ways that you can make videos without getting in front of the camera I hope you enjoyed that if so I want you to subscribe below click that button below don't forget to click the little bell too because that will give you notifications every time I do a new video now as promised I'm going to give you a free e-commerce course with a value of $97 look in the description down there right below click that link and you can get access to this awesome course a bunch of videos that's going to teach you how to grow and run your online business I really appreciate you watching and if you've tried some of these things or you've got ideas for ways to make videos I want you to put that in the comments below I'd love to see that that would help out a lot of people if you've done some of these ideas what kind of results did you get what happened when you did this I appreciate you listening and I'll see you on the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel